Hey everybody, this is D Hunter, bringing another action figure diorama review today. We're going to look at the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles animated series Donatello's Lab. This is the second large animated place that they've made in the Ninja Turtle line. These things are giant, they're expensive, and they work with the street scene diorama. Can't wait to put both these together. I pre-ordered this from the NECA store. I believe it's the NECA store exclusive. I think if you didn't pre-order it there, there's really no other way to get it. There is a sort of cheaper alternative coming from, I believe, Ramen Toys. It's a third-party company, and I hope to get one of those as well. In the meantime, let's take a look at the packaging. As you can see, Nickelodeon, Ninja Turtles Animated Series by NECA. Packaging is giant. Dantel's Lab, it's also very heavy. Dantello, different devices, pizza, the rest of the turtles. One side of the package, you can see part of the sewer and its lab. Other side, more of the sewer and its lab. Then at the back, here are some different pieces of this diorama. Leo and Donnie. Donnie working devices. And if you got the portal, you can add it to this diorama. At the bottom, it's pretty blank. There is a barcode, if that helps anybody. And at the top, it has a little handle, almost like a briefcase. So with no further ado, let's open it up and put it together. All right, now that we got this thing out of the package, here it is, all laid out in front of you. We have the main base, three different walls, then the ceiling, or rather the street, and then a ton of accessories to add. Let's go ahead and get the sink put together. Start off with the instructions on the box. So the top of the box contains six step instructions, and they're pretty simple. Number one, get the left wall. Number two, get the back wall. Number three, get the right wall. Number four, put the three walls together. Number five, put them into the floor. And number six, put all the stuff inside. Seems pretty simple. Here are steps one through four completed. The three walls of the floor put together. We have to shell this thing. Now it's attached to pieces that connect to the wall. Before we do that, I do want to comment on this foam piece permanently attached to the back. In the last set, this sort of represents a big crack on the wall. You have these foam pieces that you could or could not attach, and personally I'd rather not have this thing on there. I don't like that we don't really have a choice. I'm seriously considering peeling it off and then taking something to remove the adhesive. It's a full brick wall behind it, but for now I'll leave it as is. So here are the pieces I've permanently attached to the wall. We have power going all the way through the back, coming to all these little side computers, etc. We have a workstation here, pretty cool stuff so far, and there's more pieces to add. And then here's this diorama with all the pieces inside. We have the lab table here, some different stuff on the shelves inside of the sewer hole. Big giant thing here for power and whatnot. A little desk here, and another computer. It's a little sort of underground private lab. Could be cool for Dantel's lab. Could be cool for maybe Kirk Langstrom. Mad scientists. Pretty cool. There are two additional accessories right here that I didn't use. These are open sort of sewer pipes. You can see the one in the back is open. You can replace it with a closed one. Or you can replace one of the ones here at the side with an open one, which is what I think I'm going to do. That way I can connect the other sewer diorama and have the two open ones so you can walk back and forth between the two. Here's this diorama set up just like it is on the pictures on the box. So I decided to pop off the sewer, put an open one on the left hand side. I was thinking about putting it on the right hand side, but that one has all kinds of different wires and stuff going to the shelf. A little more convenient for the other side. And now for a closer look at Donatello's lab. So, as you can see, we have the open sewer on the side. Different cords, power going all through this thing. A computer here. More stuff in the background. Desk with a little, I don't know, I guess a chair underneath. You got this thing here, and it's hinged. You go to the side, you can spin around, do all kinds of different activities as workstation. Very cool. 
the back we have the big damage brick wall more sort of power going through big giant computer type thing you can see the screen lever actually goes up and down and then what looks like sort of power or something going to the side open back lab desk and the side here once again a bunch of different sort of power and wires and stuff going through stacked on the shelves here overall it's pretty cool now I wanted to check out the measurements of this thing so as far as how wide it is 25 inches wide as far as how tall it is about 12 and a half inches tall and as far as how deep it is looks like we're about 15 inches deep and then here are these two sets put next to each other we have the sewer layer on the left and Dunto's lab on the right making for a very long diorama and if you really wanted to you could probably take off the middle walls and have a big open space but as it is I have the two open sewer tunnels so you can go back and forth between the two it's like different rooms in the two door sewer layer you see what I mean different rooms and you have sort of a little doorway that goes between the two very cool you can also have these things stacked on top of each other and if you wanted to you could stack the street and the street scene diorama on top of that and make this thing absolutely giant or you could have them side by side with the street scene dioramas on top let's check out both options so let's take this piece here this is the street sort of sidewalk that's going to go on top of this Dontello playset it's made of foam, but it can hold 10 or 15 pounds, no problem. Mine's a little bit curved, so I'm going to leave something heavy on to straighten it out for the next couple days. But in the meantime, we'll put this on top of Dontello's sewer lab. Here's a lab with the top on. And of course, this is intended to work with NECA's street scene diorama. This is from the animated series, so let's pull that animated one out and put it on top. Here's the Dontello sewer lab with the NECA animated street scene diorama on top. And then here it is, not only with the street scene diorama on top, but with the cardboard city background attached to that, making this a very tall and magnificent display. And if you're wondering how tall it is all put together like this, well, the top of the street scene diorama is 32 inches, and the top of the cardboard backdrop is 41 inches tall. Man, that's a big diorama. Here are both the NECA sewer layer playset and Dante's lab with two of the different animated street scene dioramas on top with the cardboard backdrops on top of that. Giant amount of play area, giant amount of interior, giant amount of exterior, giant amount of awesomeness. Now let's put some action figures into this thing starting off with Donatello. Now I don't really collect the animated turtle stuff per se. I like the movie turtles, those are my favorite versions and those are the ones I'm going to put in here. So here's the movie NECA Donatello into his lab. The movie Donatello is a little bit bigger than the animated version, but they're pretty much the same scale and work perfect in this diorama. Here's Donatello working this computer. And the computer here, it actually has a functioning lever on the side. Pretty cool action feature. Here he is at his little desk. Gonna have to find some props. He can be doing all kinds of different experiments. And once again, this thing has plenty of articulation, more cool action features. And then here, looking at the screen, looks like this is the device that powers his entire lab. And it also has a functioning lever here. When he first enters his lab, has to turn on power to the entire facility. That's where this thing comes in handy also has a working lever and of course we have his lab table once again I'll have to find some props and accessories for it I've got plenty of stuff and if you happen to purchase it you could also add Donatello's portal device into the laboratory it's actually meant to be sort of an enhancement or addition to this diorama here are all of my different Donatello figures in his lab I have a total of seven of them I'll tell you what each one is start with the far left that's a Playmates Ninja Turtles crossover with Stranger Things Donatello then we have the DC Direct Batman vs. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles animated movie Donatello. Then we have the NECA Dark Turtle. This is basically Donatello posing as Batman from the animated show. In the very center, the movie Donatello. Then we have the animated Turtles in Disguise Donatello. And then 
the Universal Monsters crossover with Ninja Turtles, Donatello as the Invisible Man, both the color version and the black and white version. And there are many different scenarios you can use this diorama for. One of the first things that popped into mind is maybe a scientist captured, forced to work against his will. You can only think of the animated movie where Deathstroke had kidnapped Kirk Langstrom and was forcing him to work on the Mambat serum and keeping him threatening his family until he provided results. Or possibly just a mad scientist lair for the likes of someone such as Hugo Strange. So normally, this would be the part in the video where I compare it with a bunch of different action figure lines, but the truth is it's not necessary at all. You can see the largest thing that I collect, Jack specific wrestling figures, a little bit over 7 inches tall, and then the smallest thing I collect, Jazz Wars Fortnite figures, the smaller end of 6 inch collecting, they both fit in just fine. Anything from your 7 inch scale figures to your 6 inch scale figures, and everything in between. Honestly, you could fit 8 inch scale figures in here. Hell, you could probably fit 10 inch scale figures in here, but they would not match with the accessories and diorama pieces. Very versatile diorama, very spacious, ton of play area, ton of room, no issues with the ceiling being too low, not even close. So overall, this is a very nice diorama. The diorama itself is fantastic. I love the walls. It's very sturdy, very stable, doesn't feel fragile. You could take all the pieces and wires and power off the walls and still have a really cool little box. It can work for a ton of things. I think the other one is a little more versatile because this one is very specifically Dante's lab, or at least some sort of a lab. The other one was just sort of a sewer layer, a place for people to hang out and live in. Now, by itself, it's very nice. But when you put the street scene on top of it, it is just giant and massive. And then when you put both these sewer layer dioramas together with two street scene dioramas on top, it is just magnificent. One of the biggest dioramas I have ever seen, and I collect quite a bit. Now, the price is absolutely ridiculous. This thing is totally overpriced. So let's not even touch upon that. There is that third party Raymond sewer layer coming out and that is equally expensive but you get so much more than this and it looks a little bit less cartoony that is about my biggest complaint about this thing it just looks animated looks cartoony all the different lab pieces computers etc it just doesn't really fit in with a real looking figure that well i'm not that picky so i can fudge in whatever i want and be able to sort of accept it but i can't deny the fact that it looks very animated so if I were to rate this thing, the quality is very nice, the size is good, it's just overpriced. So forget about the price, talk about the actual diorama. Very well done, I'd say easily a 7.5 out of 10, especially when you add the other pieces on top and just make it this magnificent street setup for your city. If I were to rate this thing, I'd probably give it a 7 out of 10, mainly because it just looks kind of cartoony and the other one is a little bit nicer. I also don't like that big sort of broken spot that's stuck to the wall, which you can remove, but it's permanently attached. If you remove it, you would not be able to put it back on, and there'd be a bunch of adhesive left behind. You'd have to work hard to get that all gone, but it most certainly can be done, and it's a finished brick wall underneath. That's without taking the price consideration, and honestly, if you add that in, easily drops it down a full point. But it's a very nice set. I would love if they did more of these things. You put them under multiple street scene dioramas. But I don't really think there's any more ideas. I guess I could do one that was sort of like a sewer dojo training center for the turtles, something like that. I mean, they could expand and expand expand upon this if they really wanted to. But are the sales there? I don't know the answer to that. Still, when I put the two together and the street scenes above them, that was awesome. So this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked the video, press like below. If you have anything you want to say about the video, add to the comment section. If you want to see additional action figure diorama and action figure reviews from me, press subscribe. I do appreciate when you do that. Once again, this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll talk to you real soon.